Polly is my baby. Coco is John's baby. Polly is mine. Right. Disgusting. One carrot, one stalk of celery, half a cucumber, a whole green apple, and a handful of spinach. Oh, and like a half inch of ginger root. Mmm. This is my morning most days. I think this is a great look for work, don't you think? <laughs> Hi, Dad. Wow! It feels like Friday! And it's not. We got some pretty fantastic news today, though. Apparently until the end of the year. Normally we have dress down days on Wednesday, but now we're gonna have dress down day on Wednesday and Friday, that's two days that I can dress in jeans and comfy things. Yes. It's like the best news. Maybe that's why it feels like Friday. But tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow the 7th and 8th graders get to go see the movie God Is Not Dead. So first thing we're doing tomorrow morning is climbing on a bus and going to the movie theater. It's gonna be awesome. And then after school, the teachers and I did a fundraiser at the beginning of the year where we auctioned off an item. For us, we offered to take like five or six kids to Mexican food and then to go bowling. And so we get to do that tomorrow night, finally. Um, so tomorrow's actually gonna be a really great day. We get to dress down, we get to go see a movie in the morning, and we get to go eat tacos and go bowling in the evening. It's gonna be amazing. It was a great Friday, and do you see the weather? It's awesome. This is so great. Oh, 
My dad got an Apple TV for free at one of his little convention training things. And he asked if we wanted it. <laughs> I was like, sure. So I'm setting up my Apple TV today. We had a lot of fun today. It was a very good Friday. <laughs> the movie was amazing. School went by really fast and and burritos and bowling was a uh, success as always. <laughs> Coco even came with John to pick me up afterwards and some of the boys got to meet her so that was kind of cool because my students know all about Coco from our videos and the way I talk about her and they know about Polly too but it was kind of cool for them to get to actually meet Coco and not just hear about her even though she's a big fraidy cat and she was afraid of all of them. But, you know, it was cool. All right, that's it for this time. See ya!